So Tom, Dr. Wright and I are very excited to share this paper with you. We were both extremely excited when we read this paper um, about key signaling networks that are dysregulated in patients with adipo the adipose disorder lipedema. And so we're looking at new insights into lipedema fat cells and tissue. Um, we go on to the next slide. So, um, right. So what we want, what the authors, and there are many authors here, and this is, was published in 2021, is talking about how poorly understood lipedema is and looking to see the differentiation between fat disorders and obesity. And is lipedema really a fat disorder, which we believe it is, and how do we distinguish it from obesity? So we, the, the authors are looking at non-lipedema fat and lipedema fat and dividing them up and we'll show you all the details of all of that. Um, then what we already know is that lipedema adipose fat tissue is very different from normal adipose tissue. We know that from other studies from Dr. Karen Herbst has done some of the studies. Um, and we know that it's very different. The lip lipedema fat has a lot of nodules in it and lipomas, as you can see over there. Um, it's very tender, it's very fibrous, um, and the non-lipedema fat is different, the color is different, it feels different, it looks different, um, and we can see the differences before we look at the tissue under the microscope. We know that, we can feel all the differences, and I'm a lymphedema, lipedema therapist, and just palpating under the skin, we can feel the difference between the obesity and the um, lipedema fat. And this is really an exciting study, which can really, because it shows how this is different and will maybe begin to prove that lipedema is a fat disorder and not obesity. That, that's a great, great introduction. And I, I just want to, Linda, I just want to echo, um, you know, that this, this, and we'll, we'll go, I'm going to go into more detail about how this really uh, puts to rest any, any, confu any, any possible confusion that this isn't a separate fat disorder and, and it should not be confused with lifestyle and in, in, uh, obesity. Um, and um, so uh, this, this, so this paper shows that there's uh, the lipedema tissue cells and their gene expressions, their cellular components, their metabolic products, their mitotic rate are, are, um, are described, are, are diff different biologically. Um, and they have a propensity for uh, proliferation compared to non-lipedema fat or, or the controls in this study. And, um, and, and then, it, we go, it goes on to report on a possible gene that may be important uh, role in, in the development or perpetuation of lipedema. And it further solidifies, um, you know, evidence that this is, um, you know, a, a fat tissue disorder. And this was just published just at the end of, uh, uh, of last year in the Journal of Obesity. Um, so the first, the first thing is the the genes that are in the are in the lipedema are are the lipedema fat cells and lipedema tissue are turned on are very different than those in the li non lipedema. So what we're seeing here uh, is this is a uh, it's called it it's called a heat map and it's it, these are expressed in 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 Z scores which means they're in standard deviations of of um, uh, of <clears throat> of our orders of magnitude uh, increased, and so on. On uh, the blue are are um, the the blue are underexpressed, and the and the red are overexpressed. And so compare the lipedema, which is all on the left side uh, here, uh, uh, left side of this graph, is um, all you know all the genes. Are uh, they're either underexpressed 
or overexpressed um, the top or under, and 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 then the the, the absolute absolute reverse is seen in the non lipedema fat. Um, so pretty convincing uh, evidence that that the uh, genes are uh, the gene expression is very different between lipedema and non lipedema fat. And then this is uh, <clears throat> this is a very it's a busy slide, um, but but you can see. This is going on the lipid compositions in these adipocytes. If you look at each individual adipocyte and you see there that, that they, so the, the phospholipids, um, which, are, which are important for, I mean, they, 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 they're key signaling fats in, 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 they, um, in, in the cell, cell, cell biology. Um, so on the, again, here on the, um, uh, on the left side again is the lipedema fat, and you can see that there's uh, um, and that there's quite a bit. The the phospholipids um, at, at the top are are, are underexpressed, and uh, compare uh, you know in orders of magnitude uh, from the the non lipedema, and then and then the in the red are the overexpressed. Um, and so the so the composition of these the the cellular comp composition of these uh, cell uh, by their lipids is very very different. And now, if you take the um, the stem cells in this lipedema tissue, um, so they're then called adipose derived stem cells, and we know they're so. Just to remember for our audience, stem cells are uh, cells that can continuously divide and renew themselves, and they also uh, can then become mature fat cells or other types of a, a whole line of of uh, these are mesenchymal uh, uh, stem cells that can grow into things that will support the fat tissue. So that's that's the cells that were that were uh, that 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 are then being um, looked at and. In in these uh, culture cells, uh, these cells cultured, uh, the lipedema cells will uh, lipos lipedema derived stem cells will proliferate compared to non lipedema um, fat non lipedema uh, derived stem cells. And uh, there's more looking at the stem cells and how they're different. Um, so the the lipedema fat. Uh, lipedema-derived stem cells um, have more fat droplets in each of their cells. Uh, uh, um, so they're more, so the stem cells are already on their way to becoming fat cells earlier on, because that's, that's part of the maturation process from these stem cells as they add fat, they become mature fat cells, and they also have more fat droplets per cell. And then uh, this is the last real detailed slide, um, and this is this is looking at um, cell cycle um, genes. And there, are, so there's a whole array of cell cycle genes that are upregulated in uh, lipedema tissue. Um, and they, and I'm just going to highlight this one. It's called Bub One, and I'm going to uh, next slide. I'll tell you a little more about it. But it's 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 involved in. In, in cell division and uh, in, in proliferation. And so um, this, this is uh, looking at specifically at the, um, at the um, <clears throat> uh, mRNA production of uh, this bub one gene in the uh, lipedema uh, fat versus the non-lipedema fat. It's very different. And this gene's overexpression is, is associated with hyperproliferation, um, and the same hyper the same gene is also involved in uh, hy hyperproliferation of ca several cancers. So it's possible, and, and and the the author notes that this may play a similar role in lipedema as it does in um, in lipedema tissue as it does in cancers such as gastric cancer. So, Linda, here, here we have uh, some conclusions is the adip adipocytes and their stem cells derived from lipedema are structurally different from um, those of normal fat tissue. 
and given the same nutritional support, these lipedema derived stem cells periphery com uh, compared to normal fat derived uh, stem cells. And the different cell biology that leads to hyperproliferation of fat may explain this disproportionate growth of this adipose tissue we see in lipedema. And now the, 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 the million dollar question, is the biology of lipedema fat, which we just pretty convincingly sh sh shared was, was different, is it because of a genetic difference or is it because of the, um, where, where it's altered environment? And so, you know, again, is it a bad, does it live in a bad neighborhood or does it have bad genes? And we don't know that yet, but it's possible it could be both. But I think this is really, really convincing to show how these fat cells are really different in lipedema than in non-lipedema. And it's about time that we had something like this to give validation to all of our patients who have been ignored by the doctors and told that it's their fault and that they're eating too much and they, their lifestyle is bad. And it's very, this is really an exciting study and we need more studies um, with genes, uh, with, with more genes to see what else is going on. But this is the start, isn't it? It is, it is. And I have to, you know, uh, kudos because um, uh, Dr. Khan, you're the one who shared this paper with me. And so I, I, it, it's really, it's really very, uh, it, it, it's quite an, quite an honor to get to uh, discuss it with you. Yeah. And um, there was another paper on genes that was, that was presented recently from a doctor in the UK, I believe. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't read that one yet. We're, that's, that's for the next topic. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to, we're going to sign off. Thank you all for, uh, listening. And, um, I, um, I really appreciate this. Thank you, Dr. Khan. Thank you so much, Thomas. This is very exciting. Dr. Wright.